What is going on, YouTube? Lamont at large here. I'm coming to you from Wayuka Cemetery here in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm here today to show you the grave of a man that was executed by the state of Nebraska on June 25th, 1959. And that man's name is Charles Stark Weather. There will be a link in the description box below if you want to go watch a pretty good documentary about the case. So basically, Charles Starkweather was what you would call a spree killer. Um, he started his spree killing on November 30th, 1957. He walked into a gas station here in Lincoln and a uh, kid working behind the counter, his name was Robert Colvert, he had walked in several different times during the night. Maybe he was working up his courage to finally rob the place. He pulls out a shotgun and demands all the money out of the register. Robert gives him all the money, which is about 100 bucks, And apparently that wasn't enough for Charles. So he pulls out a shotgun and shoots and kills that kid. At first, he got away with the murder. There was no suspect and basically he pranced around town and that was it uh later on he had met a girl he started dating uh very young much younger than him at the time he was 18 and she was 13 when they first met and when they started dating she was 14 her, her name was carol fugate so i would advise you guys to probably you might want to go watch the documentary because not only is it very good but it's very detailed on the dates and times of when he commi uh, committed his crimes but uh, the story gets a little murky on who did what or where but a couple months later after his first murder uh, Charles had went to Carol's house and she wasn't there at the time but her parents were her mother, stepfather, and two-year-old half-sister. And uh, they get into an argument and, you know, hey, this guy's 19 years old now and he's dating their 14-year-old daughter. They didn't want him around her anymore. She, would, You know, he was a uh, bad influence. Uh, a newspaper journalist quoted as calling him nothing but poor white trash. His family was poor and he was made fun of a lot in school. Uh, he was bow-legged, you know, of course, walked funny. He was a little slow. Uh, he was just known as the dumb kid. And he was, uh, Charles Starkweather would often get bullied in school, but uh, that kid that used to get bullied now became the bully, and he would start beating up all the kids that would make fun of him in school, so forth and so on. So as you can see, this person is developing some kind of a psychological rage problem. And he goes to his girlfriend's house and they said, no, we don't want you dating our kid anymore. You're too old and you're a bad influence. You're no good, so forth and so on. And according to court documents, depending on who you want to believe, whether you want to believe him or you want to believe 14-year-old Carol Fugate, but uh, he kills the stepfather and the mother. And then... Uh, beat the two-year-old daughter to death with the butt of his shotgun and took their bodies and hid them out back in a chicken coop. Uh, the mother he put in a some kind of a toilet septic tank. So now this guy already has four murders on his hands, but if you want to read the transcript of the uh, court proceedings, uh, Charles Starkweather claimed that Carol was in on the murder. Not only that, but she participated in uh, the murder of her two-year-old half-sister. So after that, they pretty much went on a spree killing going from uh, through Nebraska and Wyoming. They altogether killed 11 people. He was eventually caught. This guy was all over the news, all over the country. APB was out on this guy. And mind you, Doing all of this at the age of 19 years old, and finally he was caught, apprehended. He was tried and convicted along with his girlfriend. She eventually ended up doing about 17 years in prison, and she was paroled in 1976. And uh, this, this guy right here, this is Charles Starkweather. 
This is his grave. November 25th, 1938 to June 25th, 1959. Rest in peace. So this guy was convicted and at the age of 20 was executed in the uh, electric trailer here in Nebraska. He got 2,000 volts right through him. And his was the last execution in Nebraska up until around 1994. There is a rumor online that this uh, that this guy's stone was uh, was bought uh, by Martin Sheen. I cannot confirm nor deny those alleged allegations or that rumor. Uh, there was a man out here who told me that the stone was actually purchased by a reverend of a church who stated that uh, even this man right here, Charles Starkweather, the man responsible for 11 murders, all that blood on his hands, just an evil, evil person with a bad brain. Just a bad brain. Anyways, just want to show you guys his stone really quickly. And if you want the link to the documentary which is pretty good and i would suggest you guys watch it it's a pretty interesting tale about this guy so his girlfriend is actually still alive and uh, she lives somewhere in michigan she had her name she got married and had her name changed and she's for many many years now has tried to profess her innocence and uh, to no avail and uh, she just wholeheartedly claims that she was not a willing participant, that he forced her to go in with his uh, spree of killings. But who knows? Uh, this man testified that uh, she knew what they were doing and she just wanted to go be with him. And funny, uh, funny, quick, uh, final uh, uh, little uh, tidbit of information that you guys might find interesting, a little bit of uh Trivia or factoid, or I guess you call it a factoid, not trivia, but factoid. Uh, Natural Born Killers is based uh, loosely on these two, uh, those two people doing all this crime. And California, too, the movie. Like it, I think it came out in 1996 with a K, California. I forgot who stars in that movie. Yeah, but uh, based loosely on this guy. So anyways, guys, I got to get out of here. But uh, there's his grave, and I don't know who left the pinwheel for him, but... Um, yeah, even though it's a little bit windy because I've got my microphone, it's funny that it's not spinning. So anyways, catch up with you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Peace out.